Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Avis. Welcome back to our episode. Today I'm going to show you how to actually become a tank on Roblox and I think this video is going to be quite interesting. So please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It actually costed me a lot of Robux to make this and yeah, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and let's just dive right into the video. Alright, background music running of course. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to change the body type to R15 because it only works in R15 games and keep that in mind, please. Alright, so we switch now to R15. Let's have a look at how much Robux we actually need in order to get this whole package. First of all, of course, we need the Tonk for currently 300 Robux, but the price is probably going to change pretty soon. On March 2nd, the price is going to change, so keep that in mind. 200 Robux right now for that one. First of all, we need the first package right there, the Magma one for 300, so that's 500 Robux. Fairly interesting. And now we also need a few more packages. Um, we need this one right there, Mushroom Man, as I like to call him, for 250 Robux. A lot of people then use the Jest Equinox, which is another 250 Robux, which would leave us with 1000 Robux for the whole avatar. Um, but I actually switched out the Jest to Equinox for something that works a lot better. We're gonna use DJ Database, and I think not a lot of people actually know about this one. You can see this one's also 250 Robux, so we need to spend 1000 Robux in order for this to work. And yeah, let's just dive right into this. First of all, links are all in the description down below, so if you would just want to copy this and follow along, feel free to do that. Let's start out with the hat, of course, because, well, all we need from the Mushroom Man is the hat, actually, which probably sounds pretty sad, but hey. Um, next up, we need some arms, and this really doesn't matter what kind of arms you use. You can use some free ones, I think, if they're still free. Um, let's just go from low to high. Um, let's just have a look real quick. I don't even know if they're still free. Uh, doesn't seem like they're on sale, so we gotta try some other arms. Uh, we're gonna go now with the, with the Oliver arm, maybe? Uh, or maybe with a different one that is a bit thinner. Uh, so we're gonna go with City Life Woman, actually, because I think that one, that one might work the best, actually. Let's use City Life Woman for the left arm, I'm pretty sure. And now we just need the right arm, City Life Woman, as well. So let's just find that one. There we go. So, already, you can say... The outfit looks really, really disturbing. Anyways, <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? Let's move on now to the left leg and right leg, where we need the magma package, actually. And then we just need the torso. In this case, you could either use just the Equinox or DJ Database. I'm actually gonna go with DJ Database, because I think that one actually works a bit better, and I'm going to show you a comparison later on. But yeah, let's have a look at this now. You can see this looks really, really disturbing, but let's actually have a look now. What happens if we throw on the tongue? Don't forget, we need to do some scaling, so it might not actually work right away. Let's do the scaling part, because that one is a bit more difficult, I don't even know. So first of all, you can see the legs, we cannot see the arms, and we can see the hat. So of course we want to get rid of that. We can change now the body type to 100%, go back to scaling, which is under the body sections right there. And we're gonna go ahead and actually change the height as well, because that one is quite important. And I'm pretty sure now you're gonna see the head is gone, and also the legs are not really visible anymore, which is really, really cool, and we're gonna join the game in a few minutes, and this is the inexpensive version of this whole package, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I hope it's gonna load, I really hope so. If it doesn't load, we might have a problem, and then we have to join the game in order to, like, see it, actually. Um, I'm gonna tell you when it finally loaded. Alright, finally loaded, you can see it right here, the tank, and there you go. You can barely see the legs, you cannot even see the arms, and... Also, what is completely invisible, what, what is that actually, looks kind of weird, the hat is completely gone as well, and there you see. We can now, I think, change the width as well, uh, which wouldn't really affect this at all, and then we look more like a tank actually. And there you go, let's go ahead now, and let's go play a game with this, and I'll see you in game. Before we actually join the game, I just wanted to showcase this real quick. As soon as you switch back to R6, you're gonna notice some bad things happen, because, well, in R6 this is actually not going to work, so keep that in mind, please. Um, with my previous package with Corblox Death Speaker and Headless Horseman, it kind of worked in R6, but you can see with this one, it's definitely not going to work in R6. You can only see the upper body though, uh, so it's not as bad as you might expect it to be, but yeah, you can clearly see it works a lot better in R15. Alright, let's join the game now. Alright, so we ended up joining a game that supports R15 actually, and I don't know why Roblox is super slow today, but it's kind of weird. Um, anyways, I really hope this is going to load very fast so we can actually have a look at the package. There you go, keep in mind that the sword is from the in-game, and you can also barely see the arms, which is really, really nice. So you can see City Life Woman works perfectly fine for this, and you can barely see the legs as well. Um, the tank is kind of glitched into the ground though, but I think it looks pretty amazing, I think we did a really good job. And if you don't move whatsoever, you can see the hat is gone, 
the legs are barely visible and the arms are gone. I really hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. I hope you had a bit of fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.